Welcome back. In big earnings today, you've got Innocent Bank in the big banking numbers. And on the IT side, you've got Persistent System and Oracle Finance. So just to quickly run you through what the street is anticipating from Persistent and what we need to watch. Well, Persistent Systems is one, trading at higher valuation multiples than its peers. The FY24 valuations for Persistent is roughly about 27 and a half times. This is more than even large caps like Infi and TCS. So when your valuations are high, the margin for error is on the downside. Uh, two, also this time, the revenue growth for Persistent Systems is going to be pure organic. Now, the revenue growth for Persistent Systems for the last many quarters has been very strong. And that's because it's been boosted by acquisition. So if you look at the performance, it's been more than 6, 7, 8, 11%. There you have the chart over the last couple of uh, quarters. That's been high because it's been boosted by acquisitions. This will be the first quarter where there will be no acquisitions contributing to the revenue. So pure organic. And finally, uh, this company has a very high exposure to BFSI and high tech. By high tech, we mean companies like Apple, which have had to cut down their production due to supply constraints, etc. So these two companies, we've heard from peers, the furloughs are on the higher side. And Persistent Systems gets nearly 80% of its revenues from these two verticals, particularly high tech, where the revenue contribution is nearing 50%. Is that going to impact demand? Is that going to spill over into the next quarter as well? So the street is going to be watching out for Persistent purely because its exposure to uh, these two verticals, high tech and uh, BFSI, is on the higher side. The stock in the last one year is down 8%. From its lifetime high, it's down close to about 20-odd percent. So just wanted to put a couple of points on board uh, when it comes to persistent and what we should watch.